Bowser troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. <laughs> you all. I'm going in here. Let's go to the foot race with the Koopa the Quick. It's me, Mario. Hello. Yo, know, everyone, if you are here with another Let's Play of another classic. This time, as you can clearly see, we are playing Super Mario 64. This one I've already reviewed, so you, you should, if you haven't, give that a watch and see my opinions on the, on the game in general. Um, so we're going into it. Uh, so know that I think this game holds up pretty well, like all things considered. Um, we're going to give it a go though and see how Let's Play goes. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be doing everything. I might just do what I want to pray before pro before wanting to progress and maybe I'll come back for everything. But we're going to give it a go and we're going to see just what we can do and we're going to see how well we can do. This game does have some challenging moments in it. Um, and as you see by the press the plus button, unfortunately we're playing on the Mario All-Stars version, uh, 3D All-Stars version. Um, I don't yet have the N64 add-on for the Polymega, and I don't have a copy of the game on the N64 yet, because I had this, so I didn't th think about looking for it. I'm sure I could find it. But so we're playing on the Switch, which is fine. I love the Switch, I love its controller. But enough yapping on about that. Let's just jump into this. Ah, look, I already have a bunch of files. Let's erase this one right here. It's gonna go, wow. Let's erase this one, too. There we go. Only, only perfect records here. Let's go, we're, let's go to Mario D. We're gonna give Peach the D. This is the first time that her name, the name Peach, was used for her. Over here, anyway. And this... So here, you're seeing it. You're seeing... This game was kind of a legendary uh, revolution at the time. Like, it made people rethink how 3D games work. It wasn't the first 3D game, of course, but it was the first one to get things right. Like, universally right, I should say. Though this is a weird choice. You're gonna see why this is. I guess that's how this works in Mario's world. <laughs> Cinematic. So, Chow, you've read. Wait, Chow is, is you've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. Press B to jump and Y to attack. Press A to read the signs and use uh, use signs too. Use the left stick to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. So let's go and uh, is it the A button? There we go. Princess Toadstool's castle is just ahead. Press B to jump, ZL to crouch, A to read a sign, and Y to punch or grab something. So I again to throw something you're holding. So pretty basic, um, but this was the first. This was Mario's big 3D uh, revolution. Like this was his first entry into 3D. It's kind of weird looking and empty out here, isn't it? But... It is. It's a very strange game. Wait a second. Who's recording this? Good afternoon. The Lucky Two Bros here, reporting live from just outside the Princess's Castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues some missing power stars. A seasoned cameraman will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle with the right stick. If we can't just have you any further, we'll buzz. Take a look at your surroundings. Stop and tilt up the right stick forward. Press B to resume play. Switch camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been Lackey Two Bros. So, your camera is a physical object. That's why it's, uh, as you can see by the Lackey Two head down there, that's their excuse for why it gets hung up. I kind of wonder, like, I'm sure someone's pulled the camera back more. I wonder if there's actually a Lackey Two there. Be kind of cool. But... Here we go. They already hinted that something about Power Star is missing. Welcome. No one's home. Now scram and don't come back. <laughs> so Bowser somehow got the princess in her castle. And this is obviously going to be like 
and I'm sure everyone knows this game. This is a game that's been around and available on so many different consoles that I'm sure everyone's played it at some point. So we're not even going to talk to the Toads, except for the like, there's specific ones that we want to talk to. So let's just get on with it. Let's go to Bob bomb Battlefield. This is the classic first stage with the classic first music. Big Bob bomb on the summit. Here we are. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to Bomb Bomb Buddy. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. No, we're not going to talk to anyone. To read signs, stop and face them, and press the A button. To press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters facing, facing them with A. So we're not going to do that. This game has been around for long enough that we're just going to play. We're no, I know what I'm going to do. We're just ignoring everything, and we're just going to go get these stars. I'm going to get them in order, though, so I'm going to resist the urge to get that one in there. Sorry, we're not going to get them in order because we can't, but we're going to do what we can. As I said, we're doing what I can until I want to stop a level or progress. So this is a level that I will get everything in, I think. They, the la one, of the, one of the challenges is really friggin' annoying, but you're gonna, we're gonna have to wait a little bit. This is a pet peeve of mine. Uh, it's a pet peeve of mine that we have to uh, wait a bit before we can continue the first level, which is really weird. I think it's one of the few that you can't do your first time when you get there, because there's only, <laughs> pulling back the curtain, there's only three power-ups in this game uh, that you unlock, and they're all unlocked pretty early. But anyway, I'm hanging out here because this is a teleporter for those who don't know. There we go. And now I'm at the top. That's pretty handy, but it's also considered cheating. We'll save that for a second. It's on the big babam, Lord of the All Blasting Matter, King of Kabooms the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountaintop? You may have eluded my gods, but you will never escape my grasp, and you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must battle to prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up in the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think you cannot. He just tells you how to beat him. And you have to give him a little bit to get moving before you can even get behind him. Oh, 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 he's, he almost grabbed me. There we go. And you don't want to throw him off. That's something that we did as kids all the time was throwing him off. We thought it worked. And look how funny Mario looks from a distance. When he's standing still, he looks fine, but when he moves from a distance, look at that model. It's super weird. But we as children always used to try to throw him off, but no, you just have to throw him to the ground. Ugh. There you go. It's weird that throwing him off doesn't do anything and you have to give him a second to start moving or he just won't. But it's really weird that throwing him off doesn't do anything. Ugh. What? What? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the bob -omb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Me thinks that my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here's your star, as I promised, Mario. You want to see me again? Select a star from the menu from now for well. What a weird game, tone-wise. That was the most meta shit ever, and it's because this was the first game like this, so they had to explain it. Power Star Get. I can't wait till we get to see that. Shine Get. Big ba bomb on the battle, on the summit. Save and continue. Recovered one of the stolen Power Stars. Now you open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor, and the room with the painting of Womp's Fortress in floor one. Bowser troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. Look, fuck you all. I'm going in here. Let's go to the foot race with the Koopa the Quick. We do not mess with the Italian brother Mario. Hey, Mario. Is it true that you beat the kid, the big bomb? Cool. You must be strong and pretty fast. So how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me, Koopa the Quick? I don't think so. Just try me. I want to race to the mountaintop where the big bomb, the big bomb, the big bomb was. What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? Go. So, what a strange thing for your second challenge to have a race up. It's kind of weird. It's a weird thing to have. But we're going to race them. We're going to do it. Oh, you almost got me that time, you motherfucker. You need to bite dust, you piece of shit. 
I killed people like you every day back in the war. The war with Bowser. He kidnapped the princess when I was still a wee one. Back in 1995. I don't want to use any tricks. I just want to run this way. It's more fun. Mario controls still is still controls pretty satisfyingly. I, there's no issues with the controls of the running and jumping. Uh, now, camera, that's a whole other story. But what N64 game doesn't have weird camera angles? Like, uh, camera issues. Other than, like, uh, like, The Legend of Zelda. And that's because that game was built around, like, its camera system. I thought you'd crouch, motherfucker. Whee! There we go. This, this wasn't you last time. Let's work the pole. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yes. It's dancey pole. Wait, can you... Whoops, not this button. Oh, yeah. You stupid Koopa. Here we go. Mario. <sighs> Whoa. You really are fast. A human blur. Here you go. You've won a fair and square. Easy peasy. GG. Easy. Now I am joining the Elite Speak modern crowd. I'll be young again in no time. Even though Mar I'm pretty sure Mario is canonically young. Let's jump back in. So this is this an excuse to do this. Now to shoot to the island in the sky. I forgot to talk to the bombs. To see, oh, so every level has a bomb to talk to. Talk to the fucker. We are peace-loving Baboms, so we don't use cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all the cannons in this course for your use. For you to use. Bon voyage! So, they open these to just propel yourself. Like, they... I will be a thousand ready for blast off. Come on, hop on to the cannon. You reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use the left stick to aim and press B to fire. If you're handy, you can grab onto trees or poles to land. So, I gotta be honest. I only use these things when you have to. Like, I'm going to use them for shits and giggles now, um, so I can get to where I'm going faster, but fuck, and I totally missed. Well, there's one reason why I don't use them. I just didn't pay attention there, though. Um, they are literally, for in my use, just for puzzles. Um, like, I would never, I wouldn't remember they existed if not for this mission, to be quite honest. You almost got me there, for fuck's sake. Stupid Chain Chomp. It's cool that the Chain Chomp's here. It's not like they're here very often in this game. They're pretty rare. I think that might be the only one. Only one that I can remember, but I'm not... So I'm familiar with the early part of this game. Once you get to the... Once you, oh, you son of a fuck. Um, a couple floor... Like, a couple bosses in, I forget everything. And by couple, I mean a couple. Like, I remember the general flow, general flow of things, I remember the levels, but I don't remember the specific challenges. This is not a game I replayed billions of times, like Banjo-Kazooie. Me. <clears throat> and because of control issues, and just general things that I don't, I, I don't think held up, I don't consider it a masterpiece, but it is still a fucking classic. Whoa! Whoa! Like, um... Mario, uh, whoops, uh, Banjo Kazooie's got, um, the, like, got the fact. Banjo Kazooie has the benefit of coming after Mario 64 for it to be better, but I also just think the level design's better in Banjo Kazooie. Hmm. Yeah, I generally think it's better, but it's better in a different way. Uh, this game is a platformer where Banjo Kazooie. You've recovered three power stars, and you can open any door with a three on its star. You can come, across, come and go from the open courses as much as you, ple as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. Um, Banjo Kazooie uh, had the benefit of coming after this. Banjo Kazooie is a collectathon. This is two, but this is more of a uh, this is more of a platformer than Banjo Kazooie, if that makes any sense. Like Banjo Kazooie is a platform adventure game. I want to say, like, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of platforming in it. You, if you're watching me play it, because I'm playing it, I do a lot of platforming. But they're not as it's not usually as intense as this, and it's not like as do or die. Like you get you fail a platforming challenge in Banjo Kazooie, and you can be right back up there in a second. Uh, you like this game has a lot of uh, like bottomless pits, 
unless we're talking about something like Rusty Bucket Bay, which is the exception and not the rule in Banjo-Kazooie. Um, just thinking back on it, there's like maybe two or three spots where you die if you, if you fall in Banjo-Kazooie. Like most of the time, it's just you fall and you take a lot of take damage. At most, you can take a lot of damage. This, there's a lot of bottomless pits. Um, so it's a lot more platformy. This level is not really doing a great job showing that. Uh, this level is very much like a classic Mario level in that regard, or not classic Mario level, but like a, cl a classic collectathon level. Um, this is the one that might make you believe that Mario 64 is like other collectathons, when it's not. Um, I think Mario Sunshine is more like the other collectathons than this. Uh, Mario Galaxy is just straight up a um, it's just straight up a platformer. It's a collectathon, but it's just a platformer. Like it's collectathon, a collectathon disguised as a platformer, or the other way around maybe. Um, Mario Six, no, no, Mario Galaxy is just a straight up platformer. Uh, this is the oh, you son of a bitch. This is a, cl a, pl a platformer disguised as a collectathon. There we go. Me talking about this is making me really excited to play some of the later ones. I have a bad habit of wanting to play what comes first before playing what comes later. I will break that, but with Mario, I feel it's appropriate to play this first. Though, in regards to the 3D series, 2D series, we'll have to figure that one out. Maybe I'll start at the beginning. Might not be worth doing. There we go. Another one down. See this level? I know, like the back of my hand back of my hand i know it's like the back of my glove and i see that every time i look down i don't know where i was going with that of course i see it look at the back of my glove you can't tell it from the front or the back and i can i still know it whoa and let's go back in now i don't think i can complete this one yeah i can't complete this one yet so let's go and let's go. Let's go complete the one that's been staring us in the face this whole time and we've been ignoring. Hey, you piece of shit. You want to fuck me? Oh, shit. See, it does a lot of damage. And the control Mario does require a lot more. Fucking son of a bitch. I need to get more health. I'm not going to risk that. I don't want my first death to be that to be that bastard. I will be dying a lot. This is not a game I'm a master at. This is a game that I'm just okay at. So let's go and... Let's go grab you... Attack me, you son of a bitch. Now, so you have to master the... Utilize the butt stomp. Oh, you son of a bitch. I know how to work my hips to drop the stick into the fucking shit. Yeah, I'm gonna die if I don't get out of here. Uh, this one always causes me some kind of trouble. Like, there'll be times where I'll get it first try and then there's times like this where i just can't and let's oh let's kill this motherfucker because the koopas are rare but they give you a blue coin when you kill them what are blue coins they are coins that are worth five have you not played zelda oh shit i need to get it because your health is coin recovered by coins which is really convenient but I guess it makes up for the... It just changes the... Like, they have to have coins in it because it's Mario, right? There we go. Yes, I freed you now. You go leave me the fuck alone. Get the fuck out of here. And there it goes. But, um... They have to keep coins in it because it's Mario, right? But they don't... What would be the point of them? So it does your health. There we go. I can't remember if it's that way in all of them. I know it's in Galaxy, but I think it's that way in Sunshine. So now we sadly can't, compl can't continue in here yet. So let's go. Let's go to another world, why don't we? Fuck. So it said we can open another one, so I got another door. Let's go into Peach's room. Ha! We're going to we're going to screw with the princess again, are we? Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. Princess! I am here! Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh princess! Oh princess! Let's get in there! No, it's this one! You know your secrets. Keep your secrets, princess. Now, let's go. So now we're sliding. This is one of the many secrets in the castle. I don't think there's a lot. As you see, I got all I got all 120 stars, so I did get everything. 
Um, but I don't think there's a lot of secrets. Um, but this is one of them. Collecting coins is for the cool guys. So there's a, there is one more thing we could have completed in the... There we go, Palastar. There's one more thing we could have completed. Actually, no, I don't think we could have. Uh, every level has a hundred coin. You has over a hundred coins for you to get, and if you get a hundred coins, you get a star. But there we go. Secret stars. So now we're six stars in, but there's another one star door. So let's go in here. There we go. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. What's in here? What is this place? So, this is another level. Why don't we jump in it, shall we? Actually, is there someone... Yeah, there's a toad. Let's talk to him first. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Talk to the toad. There we go. It was Bowser who stole the stars. I saw him with my own eyes. He's hidden six stars in each course, but you won't find, them all. find all of them in some courses until you press the cap switches. The stars you found will show each uh, each course's starting screen. You want to see some of the enemies you've already defeated, suck the stars you recovered from them. Yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, so let's just jump in. 